One of the side effects of the Clinton sex scandal in the United States has been to delay considerable chunks of legislation being passed through Congress, especially in the area of social reform. These include new laws designed to combat the vast scale of domestic violence. It's said that in America, a woman is battered by her husband or partner every 15 seconds. Sue Lloyd Roberts has been to Tennessee in the American South, where the problem of battery is at its worst, but where women have been offered a fresh start. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman Why the rate of domestic violence is so high in the world's most prosperous country is a source of concern to women and lawmakers alike. Could it be that the cult of cowboy still prevails, but modern life has left the American male uncertain about when and when not to put the boot in? He's just a man. Downtown car parks are used routinely in Nashville for talent spotting, and the Tammy Wynette theme song is a regular number. But it's increasingly unpopular among women here who believe they've paid too high a price for standing by their man. Thank All right, let's hear it for Morgan. If there was any way to abuse me, he did it. I believe that. I called the police numerous of times. They'd tell me, go on in the house. Yeah. You know, Neighborhood called, groups have been set up to help the battered women of Tennessee. Renee has joined one which meets weekly to exchange experiences and lend mutual support. I better know where my place was. I belonged to him. He was entitled to do anything he wanted to to me. My body was his body. You know, it was all his. The abuse went on for over 10 years. My son and I were playing on a bed and broke a mirror. He knocked the door down, grabbed the mirror, and slipped me across my face and then stabbed me in the breast and locked me in the bathroom and wouldn't let me out. Um, I had to stay at home inside for two days so that nobody could tell. The majority of attacks on women like Renee come from husbands and boyfriends and most of the injuries are to the face and head. But in America, there's never been free medical help for facial scars or bashed out teeth until now. Cynthia Gregg is one of 300 cosmetic surgeons who've signed up to the face-to-face -face program, offering free plastic surgery for the victims of domestic violence. Yes, it's about 10 and a half years old. Okay. And when it occurred, did, did you have anybody, you know, I know I you didn't see anybody? Wouldn't, he wouldn't let me go to a doctor. Okay, so it, it just healed on its own? Yeah, it was from my ear to here. Okay, well, we'll go to another room. Okay, we'll go right down here. This project, or the face-to-face -face project, allows me almost to get back to the real art and spirit of medicine, you know, which is helping someone who, who needs help and offering my services to someone who may not be able to have access to it any other way. Okay, then turn back to But there are conditions. Uh, Cynthia tells Renee that she can help her, but she must go to further counseling sessions before she's considered ready. Battered women in America leave and then return to their abusers on average seven times, and the professionals don't intend to waste unpaid time only to find that their work is undone when the patient returns to the abuser. So this here shows, shows the scar as it is now, and here it is uh, with the improvement. Yes, I would really like to have that. Okay, all right, well that's what we'll shoot for. Okay. Okay. Katie B, who is in the music business, is three quarters of the way through her facial surgery. She's seen a transformation in herself and in the music she sings. So tell me a bit about the change in music from traditional stand by your man to the kind of lyrics that you 
Well, what's happened, in, with, especially with the females in country music, it's gotten from, um, oh my gosh, my man left me, and come, honey, come home, and you know, if whiskey were a woman, type lyrics to, um, see ya, you're out of here. If this is how you're gonna be, goodbye. And a song like Stand By Your Man wouldn't be commissioned today. I don't believe so. In tribute to Tammy, but I don't believe so. I don't think it would be recorded <laughs> as a new release. It's not just the music that's changing. The face-to-face -face program has come like a welcome bolt out of the blue for women like Katie, offering a life-changing experience. If you are a survivor of domestic violence and have received permanent injury to the facial area, you may contact the Face to Face Project, sponsored by the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Together with the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, the toll-free number is 1-800-842-4546. I heard an ad on the radio about domestic violence, um, getting your face fixed at no expense, and I, I nearly ran off the road trying to write the number down because I had to write the number down. And then I thought, as soon as I get home, I'm going to call. I was on my way home. I didn't even make it home. I stopped off at the little mobile gas station that I always got a Diet Coke at and called from the payphone. It had been a college romance. They married when she was 22. He had taken uh, my earlobes like this, attached, well, I had earrings on, and just yanked them straight down to where there was nothing but shreds left. Um, and it was because, according to him, I had the wrong color earrings on, but they matched. They were perfectly matched. I, I'm not colorblind. The majority of the damage to my face was done when he put me through a windshield. And I was just come off of working a show. I had taken my crew out for drinks because they had done a, an unbelievable job. They got pulled off a gig that couldn't happen. And I took them all out for drinks, and he thought I was on a date. And literally came up from behind me in the parking lot as we were leaving and grabbed me by the back of my head, pulled my head back, grabbed me by the back of my pants, and said, no man will ever look at you again and put me through, face first, the windshield of a pickup in the parking lot, and then pull me back out. Which Dr. Reese says that's where going in is where the slashes come from. Coming back through is where the chunks come out. And my, that's where the majority of this damage came from because this was on my chest. I held my hand up. There, was, there were EMTs. Or, or an EMT inside the club, and they came out and kept an trying emergency to... emergency medical team. And they called an ambulance. Um, they tried to get me to let my lip go, and, and I wouldn't, because I knew that I'd picked it up, and I knew it was going to fall back off if I, if I did. This is a song. That, this is what's called a scratch. That's a, that's a she was only in the relationship for 20 months. It ended 12 years ago. Katie couldn't afford to repair the physical damage, but she has done the counseling. You don't just wake up one day and become a domestic violence victim. You're programmed, you're trained for a very long period of time. That, it, it, that all has to be debriefed out of your mind, and you've got to be retaught again the truth, because the truth to a domestic violence victim is the truth as he has told it to her, not reality. And it looks like we were talking about doing something else, maybe... Katie's had seven operations so far. The man she calls her savior, Dr. Reese, is offering as many as she needs to repair her looks and her confidence. We might be able to get some improvement in that. Let me just look at that area where we... Now this one... This one we'd have to take out incrementally, do serial excision. You take out a little bit, bring it together, take out more. So this one wouldn't be erased all at one time. Let me get you a look in the mirror. Have you had any trouble with your earlobes? Nope. I remember how mangled they were, and I this know. one's just shredded, basically, so. You've not re-pierced your ears, have you? Heck no. Okay. I'm not gonna give anybody the opportunity to rip them out again. Is that the corners of your mouth? Here, here. And that one? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do much with that one right now. And a lift? A lift? In, in the lift. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about a facelift. I thought I was oh, lifting no. this out a little bit, yeah. Maybe a little bit of lift on that area. On the, on the deal. The collagen, okie dokie. We're not going to finish it all in one stage. I know. Okay. 
And we'll come back and either do the laser or the dermabrasion to smooth it out again. Afternoon dance sessions at the Wild Horse Saloon in Nashville, where the image is of perfect partnership. It's a culture where the rights of the two-stepping, bronco-bucking male are respected, and the police here admit they've had to rethink traditional attitudes. The crime of domestic violence accounts for a third of all murders in the area, but new laws introduced to combat it are revolutionary. Presented with a clear case, the police now pursue what they call a no-drop policy. They prosecute whether or not the intimidated victim wants to pursue the case. Teresa is no stranger to abuse. She now works as a legal advocate and makes it her job to know everyone who counts in this Nashville suburb, especially those who can help her help local women. To work one-on-one, -on -one especially with the women, to be able to say that I understand, I've been through it, I've, this is what I did, you know, this, I, I want them to know that I've been there, I've done that, and that's what makes me uh, real good at what I do. I can say I have been through it and I survived. I am living. Teresa had to help her own daughter, Tiffany, escape an abusive relationship when she was 15 and had just given birth to baby Jocelyn. Now the four generations prefer to live in an all-female environment. Hello. Teresa herself had been abused over 12 years by two partners, and she's now on call to any neighbor who feels similarly threatened. Have a good day, sweetie. Call me. I've fixed everything that I can Bye. fix. I've raised my children. I've dealt with um, the batters. They don't bother me anymore. I'm not afraid. Teresa has just one more thing she wants to fix. As long as the injuries are still there, as long as I can't breathe, as long as I look in the mirror and my nose is still broken, I still feel like I am a battered woman, that I have, I am still battered. Once the surgery is done, then I will be a formally battered woman and I can put closure on this whole situation, the whole, everything that I've been through for the past 20 years, I can close this and I can finally start working on having a new life. It's like putting icing on the cake. It costs tens of thousands of dollars to get a facelift or a nose job at the Atrium Plastic Surgery Clinic in Nashville. Teresa gets a six-hour operation for free from Dr. Cynthia Gregg. As a result of Teresa's battering, uh, she suffered a broken nose. And as you can see on these photographs here, her nose is crooked. It deviates to her right side. And this view shows how her tip is crooked and slants to her right. What you can't see on these pictures is the septum, which is the cartilage inside her nose, is crooked as well. Her main concern is not only the external deviation and deformity of her nose, but mainly she can't breathe very well. Teresa, these marks I'm making, of course, are the incisions that we're going to use and the scar is going to be hidden behind the hair, which is why the marks are in the hair. Teresa is the fifth woman to be operated on by Dr. Gregg. Nearly 700 women in America have gone through the face-to-face -face program. All five female members of the theater team are giving their time for free. When you start talking to people about domestic violence in Nashville, it soon appears that everyone you meet has had some experience of it. One of the nursing team here told me she too had been a victim and welcomes the chance to help women like Teresa. Would you rather, since she's asleep, would you rather have a 25? Um, a, a longer 27. These physical scars act as a reminder to these individuals and any mild correction and improvement, even in a, in a simple scar revision for them, can result in a dramatic improvement in their outlook on life and improves their self-esteem and improves their self-confidence. And I think it really helps them rebuild their life. For each battered woman who qualifies for the free medical treatment, it's a chance to try and forget and to start again. I'm finally getting it back together. <laughs> and I'm going on with my life. It gives me back my dignity. It take away the scars that he said would never be taken away. 
He said that this would always be his mark on me. I would carry that, and I, it won't be there, and I won't have to carry that burden. I will be me again. I mean, you're, if you're rich, you're great. <laughs> Katie says her scars are now 80% fixed. She's become a well-known personality on the Nashville circuit, frequenting the haunts where it pays to be seen and where the deals are made. Oh my gosh, it got me back my smile. I wear my hair in a ponytail, I pull it all the way up, and it um, and I go out in public in daylight. Hey girl, what are you doing, honey? You look great. For the past few years, she's been managing the careers of wannabes in Nashville. Armed with a new confidence, she's now launching her own singing career with the new lyrics. The funny part about the whole face-to-face -face program, or it's not funny, but the great part about it is that um, when, when it's over or as it's becoming over, this, this over here, there's a scar over here that Dr. Reese just fixed, and then there's a little one here that he did a couple little stitches on to get it a certain way, but my, my, my vivid memories are, are fading. I can have anything I want. I will have anything I want. There's nothing, there's nothing that, that can stop me. Nothing can stop me now, nothing. You have had an alibi, boy, you never told